The National TB Control Program 2020 Annual Report indicates 15,000 TB-related deaths with 870 drug-resistant TB cases annually. Persons with underlying health conditions, HIV, and children under 5 years have much higher risk of falling ill with TB bacteria. Despite efforts to reduce the TB burden, the COVID-19 pandemic and its related impact has negatively affected all gains attained towards the goal to end TB by 2035. With the cardinal signs of TB changing, experts leading the fight against the disease are concerned about the gap of underreported cases in the country. For the past five years, it's been a challenge um, making that numbers. For the past five years, we've been making around um, 30,000 and below. We are losing more than around 20,000 people a year, and it's getting worse by the day. In 2020, COVID worsened this milestone that we've even been achieving by not even finding the cases. I think last year we made around 14,000 um, TB cases. What is accounting for this, I say, is the general health seeking behavior of the Ghanaian. We do not report to the various facilities once we have some of these signs and symptoms approaching. They want government to invest in enhanced technologies for early detection. We have to call on the government to invest more in the diagnostics. That is the equipment that will help us to diagnose these diseases. Because now the face of TB presentation is changing a bit. So people will not come with the usual um, weight reduction, fever, cough. So you need more sophisticated equipment to test, like the chest X-ray. We need more gene expert machines. These are the machines that is used in testing to even know the type of TB organism that one is carrying. It is a major cause of morbidity and mortality worldwide, with an estimated 1.7 million deaths globally.